hear your closer questions. I'm also trying to think about the format. I might start at the end and then, you know, kind of go back. I'm a little bit nervous for this video. I'm coming to you from day four. We are leaving this morning. The house was a mess. We cleaned it up, but I thought it would be best to kind of start at the end and work backwards. I've decided to kind of do a confessional style vlog. That way you can meet everyone. So you guys have been begging to kind of get a formal introduction. I am very nervous to kind of see what I captured on camera because I was drinking for uh, a good portion of the vacation. So I had a lot of fun and I hope this video communicates that I had a lot of fun. Without further ado, this is the redacted 4th of July special. Thank you. Tristan is the one spearheading this entire vacation, which we cannot thank him enough for. Sodi and him found the Airbnb, and they also went ahead and did some room assignments for us. In the you-know-what room, we have Tristan, Grace, Kaylin. In Jack's red room, we have Channing and Cowboy. In the Adagiana's bunk collab room, we have Megan, Kendra, Sarah, me, Patrick, Sodi, Brooke, and Gabby. And the corner of questions, that kind of goes without saying, that is where you will be able to ask questions to fellow guests, or you are able to receive questions from fellow guests. If you want to see what questions someone has for you, that is where you're going to go ahead and take those questions. And this comes fully equipped with a Coachella sign, which we did not ask for, but um, we are happy to kind of appear like assholes. Yes. Feel free to pause and read every single thing that is written on this itinerary because it's great. Huge thank you to our board of directors for making this redacted summer camp retreat happen. Specifically Tristan, we could have not done this without him. So everyone say thank you to Tristan for organizing this entire trip. I show my friends a lot on this channel and you may be familiar with most of them, but now everyone is going to be under one roof for an extended period of time. And it's just a great opportunity for me to get everyone to say their name and where they're from and Can you please not touch this up? Please not touch this up. Don't, do not touch this up. Well, whenever you're ready. I'm not ready, it's gonna be one second. What's up, dude? Shake it open, pop it out, bust it to the side. Kinda get back against the wall, if you don't mind. This is funny. I know, isn't this so silly? Can you kinda do fit? Do I have to squat down? Let's hit it, come on. Do I look tan in here? Uh, yeah, you actually do look like tanner wow, than usual. That's yeah. crazy, that doesn't happen to people like me. Okay, that's Oh just... my god. So I, oh. Wow, you're really tall. Okay, wait. Okay. What's my attitude here? All right, welcome, Brooke. Thank you for having me. I wish we had a seat in here to sit down. Perfect. That looks great, Gracie Bud. Looks like I'm about to burp. That's so fucking hot. You can't even fit so underneath hot. the closet conventional. <laughs> okay. You sure that you want to have your AirPods in for this? Yeah. Because I have my producer in here. I just have to make sure that everything that I say is allowed to be published. What is your name? My name is Sodi. My name is Patrick David Johnson. Let's go. My name is Sarah McKendrick. Hey guys, I'm Tristan Watson. My name is Megan. You can also call me Megabug Junior the Third. Channing Glenn. <laughs> my name is Grace. Given name at birth was Lim Sung Jung. I have never gone by that name ever in my entire life. Cowboy. What's your given name? One and the same. Your birth certificate says Cowboy. My name is Kendra. My name is Courtney. My name is Brooke. Perfect. Hannah Averick. Let's go. Let's rock it. Where are you from? A lot of people think I'm actually from like Adagianas or Riva but I'm actually from Alabama. Oklahoma City. I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Montgomery, Alabama. Thank you. I was born in Seoul, South Korea. Only lived there for about three months. I've lived in the United States for the majority of my life. Starting in North Carolina. We did relocate to Shanghai, China. And then Chicago. I'm actually going to be originally from South Lake, Texas. However, currently residing in Los Angeles. Nashville, Tennessee. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm from Orange County but I'm currently based in Seattle. I'm from Texas, but I live in Los Angeles, California. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What is on your cup? So I failed to mention a very important part of this vacation, which is that everyone was required to bring a surprise for the group. We are going to start with Gracie Bugs. She brought customized cups for everyone with their nicknames on them. Also, we are just diving straight into these surprises. We just put down our bags, we put on our bathing suits, and we just began the surprises. There is no house tour. There is none of that. We are just going straight into everyone's surprises, so. All right, so first we have Cowboy. <laughs> Thank you. My given name. Next Surprise. we have Kindle. 
Ken Dog, my preferred nickname. I think Megan used to call me that eh, when we went to college together. Megabug Junior the Third invited me on this trip. I know her from college. Go Frogs! Next we have the one, the only, Chiquita. <laughs> I just wanted, I'm just kidding. I was not gonna say anything. <laughs> so he coined that term and we are obsessed with Thank it. Thank you. Okay. It's gonna be Chiquita of the Hey Chiquitas. Oh, because I always say Hey Chiquitas. American Maid. Great. <laughs> you know, I do drive a Ford F-150. It's called American Maid. Okay, special cut because this was a little bit of a later edition, but we couldn't be happier for you. And you're, you get a special cut because of yeah. the kids and <laughs> Why was your sister here? She had to go to the hospital due to do a kidney stone. If you're in Arizona, you might as well just hop, skip, and a jump to Palm Springs mm -hmm. with your kidney stone. Flag Bug Senior! Thank you, it's an honor. Say thank you to Grace. Thank you, Grace, it's an honor. Megabug Junior! <laughs> I really do not know. It started out as Megabug, then Megabug Jr., and then Megabug Jr. the third. Trisha Workin. <laughs> Trisha Workins. And why is it Trisha Workins? Yep. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Frankie's mama. Oh! Thank you guys. Thank you, Grace. You're thank welcome. you so much, Grace. Oh, this is incredible. I love it. I love it. I could not love it more. My daughter is named Frankie, and she's a guinea pig. Not a lot of people know this, but she does also go by the name Tuk Tuk Jenkins. Okay. <laughs> It's a noise that comes out of Channing and Tristan's mouth. We were doing cups. They said, you're now Tuk Tuk Jenkins. So this nickname has started as we landed on this trip. This is mine, Mrs. Wavy and Loose Lips. <laughs> In kind of a derogatory way, someone did say that I was wavy and loose lipped. Someone that I've met maybe two to three times in my life, but they do not know me to a personal level to be able to speak to that. I had to Google it. Wavy means under the influence of alcohol or drugs, which I do not do drugs. I do do alcohol, okay? Loose lips means you can't keep a secret. You're not trustworthy, basically. So mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of rude. Do you think you're trustworthy? 100%. Do you think you're wavy? Depends on the day. Muff driver is not yet here. Driver. <laughs> Muff diver or driver? Driver. 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 What is it gonna say? <laughs> Muff diver. <laughs> Token lesbian on the premises. <laughs> Last, we have Happy Fourth of July, Patrick. <laughs> I really dug deep for this one. Okay, I'm gonna say happy 4th of July, Patrick. Thank you so much, Grace. Cheers! Thank Cheers! You. Cheers. Oh. What surprise did you bring for the group? The surprise I brought for the group, honestly, I thought I kind of luxed it out, maxed it out, because it is 114 degrees. Individual fans. Ah. My surprise for the group was going to be wigs. I'm just gonna announce someone that's here with us. Bit of a surprise guest. No, Wait, no, no, what the fuck? I'm scared. Mm -hmm. It is <laughs> Miss Wavy and Loose Lips. <laughs> yes! This surprise will hold weight to all of y'all, yeah, and you can take it with you wherever you go next. It doesn't have to just be here for this weekend. It will be here for a lifetime on your person. Friendship bracelets. Oh, so we'll wear it throughout the weekend. You get it all soaked up with your Palm Springs and your, you know, whatever the fuck you do over here, and we will take it back with us all throughout this world. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Really, really cute. They came in a really small package. <laughs> what surprise did you bring for the group? Uh, handmade bracelets. So my Tristan bought, brought bracelets that he just purchased. Mine are more uh, homegrown and homemade. <gasps> Always wow. trying to show me up, huh? Made by hand, made with love. These are my handmade too from Amazon. So. Channing tried to one up me, um, and then she also did it right after my presentation. And I personalized oh, bracelets just like mine. Then I'm Aww. I told her what I was bringing I'm, like I'm, days ago, I and she did not. These before you told me. <laughs> Everyone gets two of my bracelets. Mine are actually homemade with love though right now. Sarah. I actually, uh, everyone got two. I got more, I got two for everybody. Okay. So. I didn't copy him. I think maybe it's the other way around. My surprise was the large cool flow. All right, this is kind of a little hint. <gasps> hey. I know uh, what it is, I know what it is. Uh, I know what it is. Beer pong. One side, American flag. Other side, beer pong. So I had purchased some 
sunscreen as well as some aloe. And this was important because last year we had many members afflicted by not only sunburn but sun poisoning. So it was important to kind of get the house stocked up with those healing ointments. Copper Tune Sport. <laughs> one performance. 98% of the UV, UV rays and it resists not only sweat, not only heat, but water as well. Ooh. So let's hear it for Copper Tunes. I love it. What if I could try that right now? Yeah. Sodi, go ahead. Woo! Banana Boat Sport Ultra. Wow. Okay, this one is actually going to go ahead and be clinically proven, meaning that it actually has superior endurance <laughs> versus know, sweat and water. Wow. Okay? Of the CVS brand. SPF 70, Woo! the cute big picture, big picture, big picture. This is completely clear. It is formulated for active lifestyle. If you had to guess how many minutes this was water 90, 90. Channing, kiss, kiss your brain because it's so close, it's 80. Woo! Now we have one of the more pricier <laughs> items, the Ultra Sheer Body wow. Mist. Gina partner, 100%. It's gonna go ahead and have a weightless clean feel. So if you're looking for more of a weightless clean feel, yeah, I can have that. Okay, this one's yeah, ready. Yeah, I love that. That's oh. amazing, Tristan. Yeah. Okay, that sunscreen's gonna think more big picture. This next one was. Yeah! Cowboy. That'll go ahead and be the Sun Bum SPF 50. Okay, and that. the special thing about this is that it's it premium. Is. Last but not, not least, in terms of the body sunscreens, is Beach Defense. Now I know we are not on the beach, but what that means, you could also have it in the pool because it is water and sun protection, and that applies to a pool as well. Oxy benzone free, which is amazing, and that is going to be water resistant for 80 minutes as well. Complete face, okay? <laughs> You're on the phone? Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Walmart. Okay, cool. I'm almost done. I'm gonna stay out here to listen. Okay, Mary. thank you, Channing. Yes. So this is actually for, for your face. It not only hydrates, it's gonna go ahead and be weightless as well as oil Let me say, let me say, bro, I tried it. Fucking loved it, by the way. Yep. <laughs> about it specifically. Specifically, let me just put it this way. I've tried them all. I've tried it all. I have probably skin cancer, skin damage, sun damage, and that cured it all. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I need some of that. I need some of that. That's, That's all I'm going to say. If Love you feel that. like your the sun may have gotten your skin a little bit in, in terms of sunburning, you can always use this banana boat soothing after sun gel. It includes it, but it's not limited to including aloe. Now this is the CVS brand one. Okay. Not only does it soothe, cool, and moisturize, okay. it helps prevent drying and peeling, and this one's actually enriched with vitamin E. Is I, it I really? Could those put in the fridge? Patrick? Incredible, let's after do it. a day in the hey, sun? Hey, let's do it, man. Let's, let's do it, it man. <laughs> Hell yes, let's, let's put it in the fridge. It, Come with okay. me this way. We'll let's go, let's go. My surprise, well, about five people knew I was doing the cups. Since some people did know that, I wanted to do a full, complete surprise. Does anyone want to take a guess other than Cowboy? I know, other than Cowboy. Can you show us the shape a little bit? Stop, sorry. Did a donut. And I did a pinata. Yeah! I can't tell you what's inside of it. Is it shooters? Is it shooters? Holy shit! Hey, yo, come on, check it out. Take Fucking your sunglasses off so we can see if you close your eyes. They're not closed. I can tell you that. Bust it open. Bust it wide. Bust it wide. Stop. Let me bust it Try open. Try and hit it. Stop. <laughs> oh my fucking. What happened? All right, toss it up. Let's Come go. On, let's toss it up and shake it out. Shake it out. Come on. I'm ready. <laughs> Let me try it myself. Phone try my best. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, you throw for me one time, I'll throw for you. Let's go. Right. One more shot. Let's go. Okay, Come on, dude. Give her one more shot. And that's it. Okay. 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 All right. Let me try one more. No. Time. <laughs> you had to spin around and stuff. You didn't spin around and shit. Hey, you talk with some pretty. Oh, bust it wide open. Come on, somebody bust it wide. Filled with shooters, condoms, gushers, and ring pops. Cowboy, I got us a condom for later. Yay! Ooh, I'm taking the Jose Cueva. Apples? What is it? 99 apples? You need the 99 apples. 99 apples. What surprise did you bring for the group? I brought DIY visors we can make. So I just want to set two examples. This is Berm Derns. You can make your own name. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. So we have some crayons. 
You can take Thank them down. You, I'm you can take make your down. Full crowns. Also, you can make your hat whenever you want to. This is not the right fit right now thing. Interesting. Do you want to make all of them? I do. I love them. Thank you, Sody Bug. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You can also make as that. many as you want. And I need wow. that. I love a visor. I love these. Thank you, Sody. All right. Here you go. Thank you. Aww. What's it the fuck open? Bust it out and bust it open. Bust it the fuck open. Bust it up. Bust it open. Shut the fuck up and let's bust it open. Ooh. Hey, get the hell's up. What surprise did you bring for the group? Miss Jan's egg casserole. Famous, famous woman from Calvert City, Kentucky. This recipe has been passed down in the cowboy family for generations. And it's something we eat at just about every holiday meal. Christmas morning, Easter morning, Thanksgiving morning. This is what I can expect to see at Mrs. Cowboy's uh, table. However, my surprise was just slightly outdone. Just a touch. I was really loving my surprise with the group, but I will tell you one thing. You can get your surprise outstaged when somebody spends $960 on a potty bus. We go out under a couple different circumstances. Number one, everyone has fun. Number two, everyone kisses someone. Number three, we can all ride together. It was very hard to keep in, but I did book a party bus for 12 of our dearest friends. And with that being said, I'd like us all to kind of take care of There really is something so special about editing a YouTube video and putting in compliments that someone has said about me into my video. It's okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna indulge a little bit. Why can't you see me? Oh you're such a fucking team. You guys all need to get with the program, okay? Unbeatable, greatest girl in the world. I really could get teary eyed. I love her so much. <laughs> You're making me emotional watching it. It doesn't matter. Like, 
It could be the, the horniest song. And your dancing is making me emotional because I love you so much. Okay, stop it. I keep dancing on my own. Good morning. Are you hungover? Still drunk, baby. Whose fault was it that we got kicked out of the bar? Oh, Patrick's. Easily. 100%. <laughs> You know, it come to my attention that I had been removed, <laughs> removed from the bar. Now that the pieces have been put together, I got removed from the bar due to this one group of three women. Two of them were vibing with me, one of them was not. If someone's not vibing with me, I'm going to make it my life's mission to vibe with that person. She did not like that. She did not have a good time. She told the cop to remove me from the bar. I did get removed and we took the party bus. Home, and then we swam in the pool. But it also perfectly aligned with Raina's arrival. So I thought, I thought that we were, like, yeah, Raina no, had just it, come. It was not mm -hmm. even like a kink in the plans. Oh my God. Can you tell us about the young gentleman that you met at the bar that kind of comped your drinks? Are you talking about Lou or Tom? Because there were two. Okay, Lou, we were looking at about probably 80 to 90 year old man. Okay, and when I saw him, I honed in as a target. Just because for me, right now, I'm not gonna be able to purchase any drinks at the bar. So he was able to comp it out, and then we met Tom, who was also in that same age bracket, and I asked him if he's single, and he said, not for me to worry about. He was able to comp multiple drinks for me. I think Sarah and Tristan, they said we're with him and then also just put their drinks on him. Do you have any tips for anyone who is trying to secure free drinks? Because you are very good about doing that every time that yeah. we go out. A lot of people don't know I've been doing that for many, many moons, okay? Because when I go out, I don't like to put down my card or anything like that. I can't pay for that. What you do, walk up, approach with confidence. I would say one thing that normally works for me, I don't really do shots much anymore, but you know, when I used to do that sort of thing, I would just go up people and say are we not taking shots are we not doing group shots are you not getting me a drink something like that and then if you say it like that kind of thing whoa yeah they get a little <laughs> yeah whoa yeah watch who is kind of your favorite person that has ever kind of purchased you a drink other than lou <laughs> sarah has a really good one of yours you know the one i'm talking <laughs> he was able to cough a couple things out what was his name do you remember i don't him? know sweetie i don't know most of their names okay i happen to remember tom and lou you don't need to know the people personally for them to put down and make a car transaction um okay so we have a really exciting day we've had a couple shifts in the schedule for today but um nothing too too crazy I Fluids on my person. I'm not doing fluids right now. Maybe later. Call me later. So. Okay. When is Kristen introduced and announced that Channing is She's coordinator asking to speak of on her behalf? I said you can go through some stuff. I'm going to talk about the morning activities. Thank you, Megan. Where is Cowboy? Okay, Where so are our, our, our to board of directors? I'm just going to. Okay, hang on. Let me just go. Okay. As you were woken up before 7 a.m. by Kristen. That's unacceptable. That is completely <laughs> Well, I, I was not able to sleep due to Grace snoring. What about the three espresso martinis you had before? <laughs> that, what about after that? 11 p.m. That, that had, no, that that had nothing to do with your lack of sleep. That was AI. What about the fact that you and Grace chose a room together as the snore room, and now you're complaining about it? That you chose that for us. Okay, so. no, wait, you're in the snore room and you're complaining about snoring? Yes. I couldn't oh, I sleep. Patrick and Grace need to sleep together. <laughs> I do too. Patrick is a snore yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a slight change up in the schedule, you guys. So we did actually move forward and do the Arriva Durches portion of the linen party last night. So we are having to kind of shift around and shift some key numbers into that schedule today. We've got a really exciting day for you guys. As y'all see, we've already woken up to a really good breakfast. You know, DIY little bar, you can put your own breakfast together, kind of put your own spin on it and do what you want and what makes you happy. That's what our camp is all about, making you happy. We're gonna also have a content creation time period, okay? The fans are really wanting us to push out that content and we need to make <laughs> Make sure I don't know if any of y'all saw Channing's TikTok yesterday. It is blowing blow up. up. We are seeing numbers like we've never seen viral, before viral, viral, with viral, her viral. content load. I'd like to hand the mic over to yeah. a dear friend of mine. I've known her for a while. Wellness activity coordinator for the trip. This is Channing Glenn, and she's gonna run y'all through some of the activities that we have for the morning. Without any further ado, um, here is Channing. And I'm gonna count, call Cowboy over to speak with me. I didn't ever say that I was the wellness coordinator. I think I've done. Shit ton more than that. So it's Cowboy. And the fact that you want to just kind of pin me down to just that when we haven't even done any wellness activities so far is interesting to say the least. 
It is, Megan. Thank you. I didn't want to say that on the mic, but it is 100%. <laughs> thank you. It's rude because, you know, I'm not even going to get into it. But anyway, thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Anyways, um, we're going to do a little outdoor morning meditation and some light like stretching yoga it's not gonna be intensive but i think it's good to kind of move those bones and kind of get get your body moving and get the shakes out this morning how we're gonna lead us in a couple of things too <clears throat> yep so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna hook my phone up to the speaker and we're gonna do some meditation if y'all could all gather just maybe in like you know something light I'm probably gonna just wear shorts and bring a towel out for you to sit on okay and we are gonna be doing a trip over to shield state farm for the date shake really really healthy instead of with liquor we're gonna be starting with date shakes and i don't know say that in the mic when did you become the coordinator <laughs> here comes another guest uh, we have perfect. another guest entering too. welcome to morning meditation thank you for having me Good morning, good morning. Thank you for being here, everyone. Please make your way to the mats as you're able. <laughs> Close your eyes right now before we get started and remember your intentions of why you're here. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. All right. Yes, child's pose, everyone. Yeah. Stretch it out how you see right. fit. Kind of lean back in. Right. <gasps> we can also use our meditation practice time towards ourselves and others. Comfortable position. This is really comfortable. Settle in. Okay. Give me deep shoulder. Let me help you push you up. Extend the right foot up. Place the right foot down. Reach down. Touch our toes. Take your time going down. Touch that grass. Did Two. you drink yesterday? No. Did you? No. Bust it open right now. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> One more time. Good morning. Good morning. We're gonna hold for one minute. Slow melt. Cycle. <laughs> one, two, two, one, two, one, two, three. Point those toes. Two, one. Now go straight up into downward dog. Walk your hands back to your ankles. They roll off. Arms up. Down into prayer position. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I have numbers in a cup and everyone's gonna draw. I got, do I reveal now? Is that yeah. a six or a nine? That's a six. 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 You turn my sixes to nine. Oh, I got nine. Oh! <laughs> Sody, will you put one for me as well? Yes, you're number 12. Oh, yeah, that's not me, that's oh, yeah, you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 12. I'm 12. Oh, 10. 10. 10, I gotta pick one for Pat. Oh, gorgeous, beautiful. Okay. Number one! Good yeah. job, Pat. No, that's not fair. Oh, he gets 12, he gets 12. You can have a gap. Pick your number. Oh, four. That's nice. really good. That's really good. Thanks. Two. Two. What'd you get? Three. No. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he really loves it. He like made a comment about it. It's no good. Not that many. <laughs> All right, F. Oh, that's seven. Oh, there's only Sorry, one Sorry, I write my sevens like that. I write my sevens like that. Oh, cute. Eleven, okay, that's everyone. Perfect, because you know I'm crafty. I always have to kind of get a little crafty. So I bulk ordered some no! Oh. But, okay, because we call each other bugs, I kind of ordered some patches that have different bugs and ironed them on the side. Oh. So lay them out, and everyone's gonna be able to oh, kind of oh, select. Oh, do not take the I know, and there are some that are very obviously Megan and one that's very obviously Sarah to me. <laughs> this one's mine because I want this one. Okay. Okay, so who's number one? Pat. That's not fair. He was badly behaved last night. <laughs> Y'all, I was good. I don't know about that. I'm gonna see. take the all black in the front. Oh, that's what I thought Sarah would like. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, Bumblebee is my favorite animal. Sorry, we'll see what you pick and maybe we can that. switch. I'm number three. Okay, two. That's Brooke. Oh, these are Watch gorgeous. I like this one. Oh, I love that one. Uh, maybe the one in front of it. <laughs> you guys are swapping. I love it. I'm coming to your side. Okay, who's okay, four? Thank you, Sally Gore. Four. Okay, it's not your turn, but I would need you to line up. I'm going to go for this Oh, that's a good one. Me because Brookie. Oh, that's you know? sweet. Yeah. Oh. I'm number seven, but I am going to go ahead and I'm go. I'm number six. Let's, let's bust it open. No, Let me yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm number cute. six. Oh, that one's cute. I'm all Gucci. I'm going to go ahead and go for now. We all okay, good. I just want to look at these two. <laughs> I love that one. I want that one. Which one do you think? It's mine. It's more me. Bust it out. Bust it out. I'm number seven, but I am going to go ahead and go. Okay, great. You have it up, gorgeous. I'm 10. See, that 
literally, that was one of my favorites. I can't I like believe it lasted one. that long. It's gray? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so me. No! No! <laughs> what you wanna do? Do you consider yourself to be a pushover? I made one. Let me taste test it really quick. Grace, come on, we need like seven of them. Let's seven? go. Seven? Hurry up. Come on, let's I'm go. I'm making them. I'm making them. Grace, please. The come arms on. can only move so fast. Come on, don't quit fucking around. Let's go. Come on. Shani, Shani, come on, Sal, while she does that. Come on. Why? Because <laughs> she's doing it. Yeah, you know what? I might be now that people are pointing this out. Grace, can you make me a sandwich too? But you know, I think honestly, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not a pushover. My love language is service, acts of service, and gifts. And you know what? That just turns out to be translated as being a pushover. Let me do a taste test. Honestly, I can't taste the alcohol. I'm gonna give you more. That's awesome, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> Yours might be the strongest. Shit. Statistically, someone has to be the strongest. Thank you, Gracie Bug. That's really good. Hey, Grace, can I put my order in with you? I'm gonna do a pina colada frozen with a dash of grenadine to make it pink so I can be okay. pink, 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 pink. Give me about pink. 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna need to expedite. That will be an extra for just five dollars. You can do Venmo or Zelle. Okay. What will twenty five? I can do that right now. Okay. Come on, let's do twenty. Okay. So I'm gonna reserve <laughs> two of these for myself, uh -huh. and then the rest can fight over it. Oh shit! That, well, that's not mine. Fuck! That, that one's not mine. <laughs> the thing is, like, when you're out here in this heat, you actually have to be careful with hydration. A lot of people probably don't know that. For me, I've only been doing water, ice water, Gatorade, liquid IV. Show me what you let's got. Go. Nine up and eight. Come on, how about you? Up. I'll take the six. Come on, you guys. Like just getting that hydration up, getting that water circulating through my bloodstream and everything like that. So um, someone asked me what aren't we drinking, okay? We're not drinking alcohol or anything that much, you know, maybe, you know, mocktail here or there, but I'm, I'm mainly doing water. Shut the fuck up and let's pop it out. Let's pop it up, let's pop it through. Let's pop it out and shut shake, the it out. Up. shake it out, shake, shake it out, shake it out. Yeah, do you want one? You want yeah. one? Bust it open, let's go, bust it through. You have been loving getting your vitamin D in more yeah. places than one. Can you speak to that? Well, I've been getting sun in places that's never seen some before. Lots of sun. Yeah, lots of sun. You also had another surprise. A water twister moment, because uh, things are pretty wet and wild around here. I can't see, I can't see. hands are on anything. All right, right hand blue, I'm not come on. Fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right hand blue, come on, I got it. Mattel intended purposes are definitely going to be different than the purposes I intended it for. I'm okay with people using it for both. I'm ecstatic when people use it for my intended purposes. Come on. Yeah, that was hot. Right? That was good. Woo! Thanks, y'all. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for, for watching. watching. Maybe I'll do a backward hunt to him. <laughs> okay, who knows? Who knows? Bust it out. Bust I'm it through. Five margaritas. I'm here, my dog. Bust it out and bust it through. Bust it out and bust it through. That was not me, that was AI. I think AI can be a tricky thing. When it's used for the right protocols, it is good, um, but I think it's something that kind of shifts people's narratives and kind of takes things that you did, most likely after I've had a couple mocktails alcohol infused, is the work of AI. Sarah and I are about to kind of fuel our bodies and make a sandwich. So this is the part of the video where we make sandwiches. Mm, I'm trying to tell you how to make the perfect sandwich. Mm -hmm. I've already had two cocktails and I decided to come inside and kind of get some sustenance and then reapply sunscreen, then make another drink and kind of get back in the pool. Exactly. I'm having cooked ham water added. Oh, that's good. So we kind of went with an order from Walmart, kind of like the cheapest, like food delivery, kind of, that's looking actually really scary. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a block of ham. I'm just gonna go classic turkey, cheese. Yeah, I guess that's all we have, so turkey, cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want this piece? Did you look under the, did you look beside the? Once you look in the, you'll find it. I saw it under the. Okay, Bob, I just checked it. It was so scary. I just checked and it wasn't by the... I put it there on, earlier today. Oh, I just... It wasn't by the... I always do too much mayonnaise. That's never too much. You always do too much in general. Do you want some ham brick? So no, I don't. I don't want any of that. Thank you for asking. It's Can you leave that out? I want some. The ham brick? Uh, and turkey. Okay, great. The turkey's kind of gross, too. I'm just not going to think about it too hard. Bust through your windows. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, bust through your windows. Oh, perfect. Bust the windows out your car. Right there, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Don't be a fucking asshole, dude. Come on, dude. Man. Come on, dude. Where's the back of the Excuse me. What's it called? Bust the windows? 
out your car. Bust your window. It's called, it's called Dusted Open Window Edition. Oh, dude, come on. And I will actually want to say, a lot of people don't know this, I coined the term freshwaters. Would you be able to pull your freshwaters out from under your collar for me? Yeah, not a problem. Okay, thank you. Freshwater review. A lot of times I was like, Tristan, I love those freshwater stuff like that. He didn't know what I was talking about. For a long time I was saying that to him, like, ooh, I didn't know you were doing the freshwaters tonight. <laughs> and he thought that I was making fun of his necklace. I wasn't, okay? I was, they're authentic, they're freshwater pearls. Some people might think they're saltwaters. They're fresh, right? Now. Fresh. I actually am wearing the original freshwaters. These are freshwater pearls from Portugal. These were kind of the long ones, but I just pulled them up into more of a choker format. So I actually have my freshwaters on from Amazon. And then it's called this little chain necklace that used to have a cross on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. This is not fresh water. This is the gold chain my mother gave me. 14 carat, please, and thank you. I did bring fresh waters on this trip. They are off my person right now, resting. I got my fresh waters from H&M. Um, I also have more fresh waters on my ankle, but no feet for free. Sorry, not this video. Do you think that it's a bad look not having your fresh waters on? No, I think I make up forward in other ways. So my fresh waters are actually going to be in a Riva Derche's ex uh, Vivian Westwood collab. These are pretty exclusive, and I don't know that they still actually have that link on site. Oh, my agent's in this here, sorry. Yeah, I can't. So it's a it's a one of one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> my earrings, they are dupes. This is my pearl necklace from when I got it at 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And then this was my mom's pearl ring that she gave me. Oh, so these are my freshwater pearls that I brought and um these are my freshwater pearls. I'm wearing my freshwaters right now. These are the Vivian Westwood X Dobrix collab. Mm -hmm. You can also go to the Dobrix website. Use code Salidar for a sludge based cocktail and you get a free pair of freshwaters when you purchase. My freshwaters mean to me kind of like a sense of community that we have within this friend group. It represents the physical form of the, our, our community. They mean a lot. They mean the world actually. It means like friendship, pizza, and like Bermuda Dunes as a whole. And thank you for asking. That's actually really sweet. To me, my freshwaters mean community. Let's go, bust it open, bust down, period. You're not wearing your fresh waters at the moment, no, but not. can you speak to your fresh waters? Yeah, I can. Kind of a symbol of unity, as well as a symbol of togetherness, okay? As well as a symbol of being together as one. Listen, I've been wearing fresh waters my whole entire life, and it's literally who I am. I don't think I've ever gone one day of my life without wearing fresh waters in my ear, and now more recently around my neck. So to me, it really is just solidifies my personal brand. They mean so much, I don't need to be wearing them constantly because I'm thinking about them even when they're off my person. A lot of people have kind of been saying uh, that we are together a lot. Yes, we spend a lot of time together. We are together every day of the week. We all kind of love wearing fresh water. Sometimes we might even match clothing. That does not mean fucking shit. We're a community. Does not mean, does not mean that we're a cult. So fuck your allegations. White linen had paired beautifully with the fresh waters, and so everyone looked just darling. Hey y'all! Um, I would just like to give a formal introduction to White Linen Night. Woo! I like John Mulaney in the background too. Really excited to see everyone wearing their fresh waters as well with their white linen. That is actually very fucking sweet of you guys. It's White Linen Night, and I'm having some Chinese food because the oven stopped working and we couldn't get the pizzas to heat up. So we ordered pizza as well as Panda Express and the Panda Express got here first and I'm ravenous. So this is what I'm eating. This is gonna go ahead and kind of be a vlog check-in, say hello, because I don't really know what footage I've gathered. And this is me just saying hi and I hope you're enjoying the video. I hope it is chaotic, but I hope it's also able to be understood by the viewer. And thank you for watching this much. The ground feels good now. Yeah, maybe like right in front of that line we can line up. How far? That's good, just like a, along there. We'll line up there. Oh no, I just want to selfishly see myself for one oh, second. Yeah, of course. I just need to Come adjust. on, y'all, let's do it. Gonna be far enough away where you can't really see nothing. Mm -hmm. Cowboy and Brooke, come on, let's go. Shockingly, the Panda Express and pizza and espresso martinis are sitting good on my tummy. They're all going through some issues. Come on. Yeah. 
Let's go. Push it out. Hold me like a pregnant. Hold me like a pregnant. Let me eat your ass like a mini All right, who am I eating now? Right here, come on, right here, right here. Hold on, Gabby Bug is coming. Lower this down. Can you get up, roll it out. We're doing a fraternity shoot. Come on, Gabby, fuck it out. Lambda Kai on three. One, two, three. Fuck it out on three. Okay, maybe put Gabby like next to you, Brooke, and then I'm gonna come next to Sarah on that side. Yeah, you fit perfectly in there. Now let me figure out the self timer of it all. Hang on. Now my life is sweet like cinnamon. 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 Right now. Could be something later. Now my life is sweet like right now. Okay. Cinnamon. 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 Take like a vitamin. Come on. Cinnamon. 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 Like a fucking dream I'm living in. Baby love me because I'm playing on the radio. How do you like me now? Fuck me out, eat me open, and treat me better. Come on, let me hear you. <laughs> pop it out, good morning, bust it through, bust it the fuck open, and pop it out. Let's go, come on. Push it. Slam the brakes and pump the gas. Let's get it ironed up. Come on, what you know good with your bad self? It's so early, I can't do it. Go to bye. I guess I thought we were staying until the, um, throughout the, the fourth, but I actually just found out we leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> I am thinking it's kind of like um, in the shows when they bring in someone late to start. Playing Lance and Caitlin was like, you do know we leave at 10. And so then I found out we actually only have the house for about 10 more hours. All right, yo, yep. What am I sipping on today? Blue juice, come on. Woo, Hydrating, man, blue juice, come on. Get yours here, Cowboy's Kitchen. Take a sip every time you miss. Pop it in her mouth, like, okay. Line of pop. Angie, you're come on, Oh my god. First try, come on baby, first try. Let's go. And I mean, I think the whole, I think the whole has to be upside down. Patrick. Patrick, could I play you for questions real quick by the fireplace? And I just spilled your whole thing. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go. <laughs> there have been moments this trip that it has definitely left the friendship area and gone into something more. Later today I do need to pull up for a chat and just kind of see like where we stand exactly. It's a route I could see myself going down, but you know, it's, we're taking it kind of one conversation at a time. Um, me and Sarah have something special. Um, <laughs> you will never fucking believe what Tristan told me. <laughs> Stuff made some real big mistakes, but you make the worst one look fine. Who is pissing you off the most? Tristan. Tristan. Probably trust due to his behavior. He has pissing everybody off. Screaming, whining, moaning, theatrics. He blocked in a content hour. I mean, he woke me up at 7 a.m. and I didn't sleep good last night. Thank God I was already awake because I literally would have died had this been my wake up call. The ants go marching one by one. The ants go marching one by one. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. He told me I was acting weird and not having fun. I said, I have just opened my eyes. You know, the thing with me and Tristan, I, I love him like a brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think he started so strong with the surprise party bus, so he's acting like he can do whatever. We're watching a movie, he's actually gone ahead, gotten the speaker, and blasting Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo, blasting Man Eater from No Hard Feelings. We said he would be most likely to get voted out of the villa if we had to pick somebody. Some people have been saying that you, uh... Who? Last night I had had a couple mocktails. Alcohol infused as well as Starbucks cold brew infused. That caused me to not be able to sleep. That along with Grace's loud ass snoring, I slept about three and a half hours. I woke up at probably 5.45. I went on a walk. I went outside, sat outside, listened to Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo about 17, 19 times. Waited like three and a half hours before I woke anyone up. When he came into the room this morning and I got down from the top bunk, he tried to approach me for the usual morning banter her and I just said, I'm on a Tristan timeout right now. Obviously, I'm very fond of her and I appreciate her and I love her. I'm a Meg head, but we're going through a rough patch right now. Mm -hmm. so, are you talking about me? Yeah, she's here. No, 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 no. There's no talking to home base. Were you just talking shit about me? Yes. I no? wasn't talking shit about you. I said we we're going through a rough patch. And I said I always have love for you. I'm a Meg head at heart. I have had enough of you and your attitude, the way you're trying to control the narratives. I'm done. Seriously. You're I'm done, done I'm right done. now? I'm done. Megan. I'm done. Uh -uh, Tristan, I'm, I'm done. Because I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing. I'm not fucking with you. I literally told you I'm going to Tristan time out. I'm done. Time How out, long is time, time out? Time out. Time out. 
permanent. So, whatever she's thinking that she saw must have been AI. I think people kind of forget that I, you know, put my heart and my soul in this. I was on Airbnb for two weeks straight trying to find a house that was perfect for us in budget. Organized all the groceries. We had people going to sleep early. We had people not wanting to, you know, participate in the readings of our daily schedules. Shows a little fucking ounce of decorum. So why have you not kind of brought that up? Like, hey, I, I, I planned this whole thing for you guys are being, why don't you play that card? I can't. I'm a team player. Do you think that you will play that card if things continue to go the way they're going? If it needs to be played, it has to be played. And that will not be AI. I'll just tell you that. So what were you whispering to Channing about? Oh, I was whispering to Channing because I was starting a rumor that Tristan diarrheaed in his bed last night. Are the rumors true? 150%. Are the rumors true? And which rumors? I do, and yes. The information itself will come out on its own, and it's gonna be a shit fucking storm when it happens. I can vouch for you, they're true. I saw it Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to know if the rumors were true. Yeah, no. The rumors aren't true. Mm -hmm. I was sick last night. I was really sick last night, all night really. Who said something? Okay, so we are gonna be gathering tonight. I wanna say good job everyone on really rallying today. I know some of us rested, I did not. Um, some people rested, I'm glad y'all are feeling good about that. And I think we can kind of continue into the night with ease. A dealer's choice tonight, I do wanna say that. Sometimes we do do player's choice tonight, it's gonna be dealer's choice, so. All I'll say, the dealer has been tapped already and the dealer knows who they are. I'm gonna need the dealer to speak up right now. <laughs> I cannot reveal who the dealer's been, I have tapped them though. Sally Hart, are you the dealer? Look at her. So I think that most valuable, it goes without saying, Tristan is gonna provide us with another surprise. The Hibachi Chef will be here in 15. That's and Brooke true. was gonna take it on for most, who, who has room for most improvement. That's mean, Teddy. Okay. Hey. Who do you think could improve on their? Who needs to improve their game? In this house, I'm gonna say that it's my sister Gabby. I agree. Guys, I, I, agree. I, agree. I, I agree. 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 Everyone is agreeable. I really feel horrible saying it, but I, I, I do. I do. I don't feel bad saying it. Can you everyone should. go around and give Gabby a concrete deliverable? <laughs> Act like you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, tomorrow I want you to talk to three new people, and I want you to ask them. Three unique and new questions. Okay. What questions do you, you have for them? So I also have another surprise. Should I tell you? You can. I, I'm bringing out sparklers tonight. <gasps> oh, that's fun. I'm so serious. We have enough for everyone to at least have two. Sparklings. Well, should we give a tester? <laughs> yes, do a test. I want to do a test. Are these faulty? This is embarrassing. <laughs> We tried to have Salazar as a navigator, a solicitor, a leader. <laughs> and you know what, times like this, it's like there's a whole lot going on, and guess what she's doing? Follow me. You're missing out on a lot, Salazar. Because you know what? Wait, where's Tree? You're asleep, and you're drunk. Shut up, and show me what you got. Come on. Hi, pretty girl. Come on, let's go. I would say that our friend group's all about kind of being buck ass wild, not knowing when to stop. They probably think like, is there ever a second that they just kind of stop? And the answer to that is no, actually. The stamina on these people, they can just go. I do worry that my vocabulary has been altered for the rest of my life from these past few days. It's the best. I've never laughed harder in a year. Ever until moving here. Sally Dar, you were one of the most welcoming people. We were at the brig and you always kept opening up for me in the circle. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice and it reminded me to do that too. I will say as a newcomer to this group, my biggest observation, this group, they are huggers. And that is very interesting for me to come into. It's been a minute since I've 
you know, been in a situation with all my friends and this friend group. So, you know, getting to come here and just see everybody. I had a great time. You might not have seen a lot of me this trip due to me suffering from not only extreme heat exhaustion, but just exhaustion in general. Um, to all my mega heads out there, I love y'all too actual literal pieces. Thank you so much for having me up in the comments as always. Thank you so much, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, Patrick. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Shut the fuck over. Move to confession. Can I get a picture of you in here for my story? Yeah, of course. Always use me for fucking content. Yep, 100%. It's a hydrated Gatorade. Ooh, you're resting. Of uh -huh. water. <laughs> We're having a great time. Thanks so much for the support. We need some kind of lifetime donors to get us to Bermuda Dunes next 4th of July. So if anybody wants to supply that, we are ready and available. Do you think we'll do this again next year? I do. Two years from yeah, now. I do think we will. Let's hit it, come on. Let's do shit.